<laughs> if, they, if they left me, I'd be drinking a much sadder drink than mimosa. <laughs> mimosa is a happy Enough. drink. Sounds like a happy drink. Have you never had it, Spencer? I had one in Germany. It's it's probably the only happy morning alcohol you can really have. That's <laughs> not mm-hmm. super sad. There, no, like, mm, there's you can make an argument for Bloody Marys. All right, should we do a podcast? I guess. Is that what this is? We're all here. <laughs> what are we calling? Is this a podcast? Red. It's awesome. Flash. Sure. We are recording, so yeah, we start in time. Does one of you guys want to want to do the intro? Or should we just Pass. leave it about me talking about my family leaving and drinking? <laughs> That's nah, good. You go for it, Vic. Good morning, everyone. This is Reddit Talks Clash. I'm Rick. Uh, we got Liam and we got Spencer here today. Uh, we got, uh, yeah, a bit of a grab bag of stuff to talk about. There's nothing major really going on in the game. So I thought I had a chance to do uh, some discussions on some other stuff, maybe the future of the game. Uh, but first of all, um, Howland, the event wrapped up yesterday at the time of recording. Uh, do you guys have any final thoughts on on the Howland event? Yeah, I feel like it's just been in the game for so long. Where I, I don't know. I just keep seeing his face pop up. Yeah, it has it has been a long one. Like, cause like the Howland stuff started right on the first, didn't it? Yep. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. like the event was the event was longer than normal, but that was like sixteen, seventeen days, and then they're getting the full month out of this guy. I mean, it makes sense though, because like it's a it's not like the usual events. Normally, they start after a CWL, uh, and so here when they have a celebrity in clash, they want to make it prolong it and yeah, maximize it, so make it the whole month, which makes more sense too. But um, yeah, I noticed he's like even in the tutorial now. It's no longer the villager; it's it's Helen. So. That was a nice are you, little... Are you still making new accounts? Uh, yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it was... Oh, no, no, it wasn't a new account. It was more just unlocking the build base on one of my else. But um, I'm also making a few more new accounts, so yes. Okay, like, why, though? Well, because, you know, you gave me this idea of wanting to have these uh, mag- one, one town hall max for each town hall level, so that, that was a... My new pet project, but that'll take some time. You have well over 100. Like, you could have just upgraded one of your existing ones. Yes, but then I wouldn't be able to do 50 50 wars against myself. So, got to have more than that. (laughs) Okay. So, so we can put your, like, you because you never want to tell us the the real number of accounts you have. Yes. Just like Supercell doesn't tell you exact numbers, you know. (laughs) So, same thing here. Based on what you just said, though, it's it's over 100, but less than seven, 16, because there's 16 town halls. Uh, so it's in between 100 and, 100 and 116. No, no, it's more, it's more than 200. But yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll stop there. Anyways, moving back to Halland event. I really enjoyed the event. Um, but uh, yeah, I like the kicker is still here for clan games. Um, a lot of people were a bit confused about that, I think. And um, I did not like the impassable challenge. Uh, it was way too hard. Uh, but other than that, I, I I played it in the dev build, and like I I played it enough to know I'm never gonna get it on my own. And then like I I don't I don't really care about getting the final statue, so I haven't even attempted it. But you can just get a two star and get the statue. Yeah, and I might do that in the next couple of days. But I don't, I don't know. Like every time I get a new decoration, I just immediately stash it anyway. So yeah, same. But I like having everything. Yeah, I don't know. But hopefully they'll, they'll see the feedback on that and maybe see, oh, like only 100 players got a triple, so we'll make it easier in, in the future. But they said, like, it's, they really expect it to be impossible for most everyone. Like, so they, they, they titled it correctly. Well, impossible would mean they, that no one could do it. But yeah, that should be nearly impossible. Yes. I was talking about the trample back before everything released, and he's like, "Dude, I this is this is gonna be the craziest video guide I've ever had to do." And I was like, "Dude, just just do a two star guide." And I think a lot of people ended up doing like two star versions of it for everyone. It's a tough one. Yeah, what did you think, Spencer? Did you even try to do it? I just went for the two star because that's all you need for the decoration. Is there an easy two star way to do it? I I literally haven't looked. Um, uh, I I tried tramples and his was just so confusing, and I, I love trample, but his vi- <laughs> I I always watch his TikTok videos, and um, 
whenever I, I do watch his TikToks to do the challenges, I do them with his TikTok. But for this last one, he had to restart it like twice. So I like already placed <laughs> stuff down and I couldn't pause my attack to see what he did next. It was really funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, I, I know. Like, I, I always tell him, uh, like, it, he'll send me the videos before he publishes them. And he's like, hey, is this mm-hmm. easy enough to follow? And that's always my bar is like, if I can just like, play the video on my phone and then follow along on my tablet. Like, exactly. and get it the first time, that's, like, always my bar for, yeah, like, good guide. Yeah, and I, I gave up on that, and I went to um, Judo's YouTube video, and he, he did a two-star and then a three-star, and his two-star was actually pretty easy. That's good. I'll, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, yeah I tried uh, spamming everything all at once. That didn't... I mean, it, it, it was working for a bit, and then it, it just stopped, so that was kind of annoying. But, uh, yeah, good good design on, on Supercell <laughs> side, I suppose. Are you guys excited for the more event? Oh, it's um, gonna be so much more than what we've ever had before. Like it, it's 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 live right now, right? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I I don't know. Even understand. It, it's just the like the event you know, is basically. We already passed the third milestone. Did you guys even know that? Yeah, I no. saw that. No, How is it? Like, is it tracked in the news tab? Even. Yeah, news. Mm-hmm. And you know, like, I maybe. Dumb question, but like, what is? Are we supposed to getting one gem donations? Is that the second reward? And uh, mm-hmm. like, a, what's the one for seventy five million? It's like a the training icon and one gem thing. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure like, that's gonna start when the event's done. But know. we got the training potion already. So, oh yeah. By the way, free training potion. Everyone, check that out in the news tab. The only thing I'm the only thing I'm excited about is that. It'll unlock star bonuses, and that'll be my first star bonus since they included ore in the in the four time star bonus. Yeah, I am looking forward to that, especially in legends. Oh, does legends have the highest star bonus? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, has the like the highest league bonus and star bonus. Yeah. You could actually just um, because what I do is I I go to five thousand or above, and then I just drop down, and so I, then I have the legend badge, and I get the max bonus with unlimited attacks a day which is way better than signing up to legend league i think that's what the uh, kids call fake legends these days it, yes but i get the maximum bonus loot so who cares if it's fake legends <laughs> i'm actually really like i'm really glad that like people are finally distinguishing between being in legends and then being in w- what people are calling fake legends just having the legends badge it was always like a source of confusion when people would po- post on reddit and say like oh yeah uh, like i'm in legends as a town hall eight and they're like no you're not and like yeah, <laughs> and it was it would always cause stupid arguments. But now, people say fake legends, and everyone gets it, which is cool. Um, in my clan, they're still confused, but uh, I'm glad Reddit finally got it. Your clan is confused about everything, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna disagree. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll poke my head in, and it's always wild that something weird is going on that someone doesn't understand. That's that's what happens when you try to have diversity in your clan, and you know. But hey, you know we're not. People are talking in Cyrillic half the time, and Arabic the other half, and then random English. Your clan is nuts. Welcome to the world, Rick. There's other cultures than just America. <laughs> <laughs> you have a true international clan, I guess. If not, not just a weird label. But uh, yeah, the more of it. I don't. I don't know. I'm poking around. I literally don't know where I can even view the progress in the game. It's uh, in the news tab. Click the news tab, and then should appear right up. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it was. It wasn't on that one for me before. It was showing me the. Uh, I guess the qualifiers just finished up, so that's what it was showing me. The qualifiers, the world qualifier stuff for this month. Yeah. Speaking of which, I really don't like those live red icons. Like, I only want to see them once and then have them disappear. Uh, anyone agree. else frustrated by that? Oh, thank you. I know, like, I'm the kind of guy who, you know, like I will always clear my notifications like i like i i don't understand how people can open their email inbox and see they have like forty eight thousand emails the the little live notification doesn't it doesn't really bug me no i'm the same way um and that actually when like uh, with the pin messages that actually happens when you switch accounts which is kind of annoying yeah speaking of which you haven't seen my pin messages in in the chat have you in in which one and the bad guys no, I didn't know you were allowed to pin messages. 
I'm I'm a Cody though. I can pin messages. Anyways, um, yeah, back to the more event. Um, I I I feel like it's just not. Maybe am I spoiled and this is just I'm expecting more. But is is it, is it anything well, I think special I'll other than more? <laughs> Good one. No, I, yeah, I'll just be blind. It's stupid. Yeah, it, it, it's it's not gonna like we said the same thing about Rubble Rumble. Like I'm not gonna alter my play style to to participate in this. It's just something that is like happening in the background without my involvement or my interest at all. So, like if if they want to do something to drive engagement and activity, it's got to be it, it's it's not this. But what what could you do to drive that engagement? Like give people stats on their own gameplays or see how they're contributing to the event? Is there anything that would make the, it for I me... think that yeah, like if you showed me like how how much percentage each member of my clan was earning i guess that would be you know to have a little mini clan leaderboard could be kind of cool but without any individualized rewards like i'm never going to care though either way yeah maybe well it could be yeah the thing like clan games where if you get to the maximum thing then you get an extra reward or something might be a nice way to incentivize that i don't yeah i don't know this is just like i don't know like i don't know anyone that like cares like I mean, like I'm I'm glad we're gonna get the rewards. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but yeah, I don't like I'm not invested in this. Yeah, like I I don't see myself looking at the leader, but be like, oh, we're gonna make the third milestone, you know? Because I'm I'm assuming we will, hopefully. But uh, yeah, it kind of reminds me of the <laughs> other ones. All right. Um. Then I guess moving on in other news, uh, new community manager Frame. Like, we we've known he was coming for for a while. Um. And they they just announced it with when they announced the uh. The more event, and he's a cool guy. I gotta say, I'm excited to have an, another active CM on the team. I gotta. I really love that he answered all my uh, lame questions. So thank you very much for that. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, dude. So <laughs> you bozo, right? Like every <laughs> AMA, every AMA we've ever had on the subreddit, like, like it, it's not a rule, but it's one of those like things where we always discourage people from doing. Like, hey, don't ask 400 questions in a post. Just just ask one, two, whatever. And you have a way better shot at getting them answered. And then you, one of the only people in that thread who should know better, blast out 20 questions in a novel. Well, I was curious, and it's called Ask Me Anything. So if I was doing an AMA, I would want people to ask me all the questions they have. I wouldn't want them to limit themselves to a certain number. In a, yeah, if it's, it's just, too you know, much, it's a matter I'll of practicality, just... though. It's, it, it's, it's not the way to go about it, normally. Well, I guess I'm not normal, then. <laughs> yeah, there was a, yeah, a moment that. when he just stopped answering questions, and I was like, oh, I guess he's done. But no, it turns out he was just answering all of Liam's questions, so there was like a 10-minute <laughs> gap from oh, his God. last question answered. What have I done? Yeah. Thought it was have you guys read over the, all the questions of the MA? I have not, no. No, I, I honestly haven't either. Like, like I, well, I, I skimmed a ton of them. I don't think we learned anything really new. Like, we, we learned about him. And, you know, got to see his personality and stuff. And, you know, I think he's a cool guy. Like, we, we met him too, right? Didn't we, Spencer? Or, yeah. or at least briefly. We, very, very briefly. Uh, at last year, yeah. the finals. Yeah. yeah, I think we said, hey, shook his he's hand. He's with us at the finals every day. Hmm. I think I like, had a real conversation with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think there was any like there's no there was no game news like released in there, but it was st- still cool. So if you guys want to see it, I'll I'll link it in the show notes if you want to if anyone wants to go check it out. Yeah, I just really love the increased kind of communication and transparency. Like having another uh, point of reference is nice, and it shows as well. I think now that we're, like really trying to, um, you know, get. get push on that transparency front, which uh, Ferry was also talking about. So I really love that and looking forward to that in the future. That's one of the things where, like, I don't know, like, they always say they want to be more transparent and communicate better, too. Like, you know, not just Supercell, but pretty much every company, you know. So, like, we'll we'll see if it happens, but... Nah. But um, anyway, so I guess moving on from that again, uh, Godly had asked us a good question right at the end of the last episode that I thought deserved a little more time. And, and it's actually a good opportunity too, because uh, Spencer and I don't know a whole lot about town hall 17. 
So, Godly had asked what we're going to predict Town Hall 17 is like, so I thought we could talk about that. Right off the bat, um, I guess uh, we did get this question on Spotify, too, uh, from Bladen. He said he really, he really liked the episode, but he had one question. Do we think that Supercell will make Town Hall 17 as easy as Town Hall 16? You know, that's really interesting because I feel like even the dev team is in an area where they don't know exactly what they want just based off uh, how the community reacted to Tunnel 16 and Tunnel 15, and they're just re really trying to find a balance, and I don't think they could find it. I mean, and the question is, is Tunnel 16 currently difficult? Do you guys find it easy, or wh what's the state of max Tunnel 16 in terms of triples? 16 the... is the easiest top town hall that the game has ever seen. Yeah. It's as close to an objective fact as I guess you can make it. Because, uh, you know, ease is probably subjective, but, like, 16 is definitely the easiest top-down haul that we've ever had. Yeah, I wonder if you have stats on that or triple rate. That'd be nice. Do you guys think Town Hall 17 will be as easy as 16 is right now? Mm, I don't know. I, for me, I think they'll keep trying to make it a bit, like, a bit harder so that there's always that uh, challenge element. Because then uh, oftentimes, uh, I mean, human psychology is you find things that are challenging more worthwhile and rewarding. So they'll try to gain that aspect. And maybe it's a balance where they always make it a bit too difficult and then go back to too easy. But I was, I was pushing the line towards more difficult. Uh, so I, I, my prediction would be it'll be a bit more difficult than 16, but not too difficult. And if it is too difficult, then of course they'll balance it. But it'll be a tad more difficult than 16, but still manageable i suppose your thoughts rick i think so th they said purposefully that town hall 15 was was super hard and that was that was the goal it's because people were complaining that 14 was too easy and then they gave us 15 to kind of like you know kick us in the butt and say all right you want a hard game here it is you know and they wanted to see how that played out and then they learned that was terrible and everyone hated it and they gave us 16 which is probably overly easy it's probably an overcorrection so i i hope the goal of 17 was is to be back in the middle ground probably back to around the scale that town hall 14 was but that would indicate that it's always a two cycle generation so like one tunnel is always too easy and the next one is too hard and then it always switches back and forth yeah i think that's the way it's going to end up i don't know that that was an intentional decision to alternate them you know like at, at least a long-term intentional decision so, like, what defense could they add to 17 to, like, nerf, uh, kind of against Root Riders? Is that a possible idea, a new defense? Just don't give Root Riders a new level at Tunnel 17, and I think that'll be perfect for them. Yeah, yeah, that's probably good. Like, Root Riders are just a broken concept in general, too. Like, a, a tank that breaks walls and does a decent amount of DPS is, it's just, it's way too powerful of a troop on any one of the metrics. I don't think a root rider specific defense is is the problem. I think it's just root riders are just kind of broken themselves. All right. Uh we're not gonna talk too much about heroes because we're gonna circle back on heroes later, but do you guys think we get a new hero with Town Hall 17? Yes, only because I feel like either last year or the year before they said in an AMA that you can expect more heroes. So I would assume that would mean a few years later, which would kind of line up to right now. Uh, I don't know. Like, I I don't think I'd, I I my guess would be no. There'd be there's no new hero at seventeen, just because um I don't I don't see how like I mean heroes are already too powerful I think, and adding another one is just gonna make it way too easy. But unless they make it so that you can only have four, and then you have to pick and choose kind of like your pets. But I'm not sure. Uh, new hero is what what would be good for the game at the moment or maybe it would it would add novelty in the last year or so every time it's come up they, they've shifted from like you know darian used to always say like no like we're we're done with heroes it's going to get too complicated but in the last year like the language they've been using and the words they've they've been choosing when they talk about heroes it's it like they are i believe preparing us for that reality that a new hero is going to come we talked we've talked about this a few times uh, spencer and i had a big long conversation with uh with one of the developers vesa 
Mm -hmm. um, the guy from the Inside the Builder Hut video with Ferry, and he was saying he, he would love if there's you know a t 50 heroes in the game. Uh, how many levels are you going to have to upgrade then? Like, that's just <laughs> insane. <laughs> this is what like I, I, I didn't fill you guys in on, but like that's the conversation I want to have later after we get through the Town Hall 17 predictions is circle back and do, do, do a lot more hero stuff. But I think I, I think it's almost certain that we're going to get a new hero at introduced with 17. I don't know at what level it would be. Like, I don't know if they kind of backdate it and give it to Town Hall 15s or not, or have well, it be at 17 only, J just to keep, the, it... you know, the heroes at oh, yeah, in 8, 9, and then 11, 13, 15 would I make mean, sense. Is is Are they trying to catch the world champion up to the king and the queen? Because Onada would just start at 5 and then 10, and then like, I feel like the the RC is always going to be left behind because it was introduced later and not as many levels. So, or are they having trying yeah. to have it? Are you really asking for more levels, Liam? No, no, I'm not. Like, I hope they don't. Like, I wish I'll, I'll just be at like of five or ten levels, and now it's few levels for everyone. But yeah, we we are definitely going to come back to that, Liam. Uh, but for now, uh, uh, Liam, what do you think is going to happen with equipment? Are we going to get? A new rarity, like new levels of existing equipment, you know, like, you know, what do you predict is going to happen with the equipment at 17? Um, well, I mean, I saw this one post on Reddit. I, I don't know if we're allowed we're supposed to talk about because it it's technically a leak or whatever. Um, but well, I, you I don't know anything. So you, like, you feel free to talk about leaks all you want. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, basically, it was it was this post showing that there's like new epic equipments for the Archer Queen, I think, and the Royal Champion, which makes me think in the next event, there'll be a new Epic Equipment. And I mean, they have more planned as well. So I'd say hopefully they um, uh, don't release an Epic Equipment, but I fear that they might at 17. Like if we get a, th a third Epic slot, that that feels weird to me. If we have a third Epic slot, if we have four commons, in three epics, like, I don't know that oh, makes wait. epics feel. You mean they kind of have it so that you can have only one epic, and that so like you you can have a three total slots, and two have to be a common or epic or wait, is there another type of equipment, or is it just epic and common? no? It's, it's it's only common and epic. Okay, yeah, because then you could have it where you have to you you can only have one epic slot, and then two common slots, and then you can have three, and you have to alternate. But then at least you're always forced to choose between. Uh, one like you're you're not always forced to choose between epic and common. That might be a nice idea, actually. Uh, yeah, Spencer, any thoughts? Um, I I don't remember if we talked about this, but I remember there was this post and I commented that if there was a a legendary type of equipment, then any of the four heroes could be able to use it. That that could be a interesting. Ooh, nice interchangeable, yeah. 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 No, and then I guess adding on, like if you combine what you just said and what Liam said, like instead of limiting one epic, if you have like if you had each hero had one legendary piece of equipment, but you could only have one hero with legendary, that might oh, kind of keep it balanced. Yeah. Be cool. I no, I'm not expecting much. I'm expecting, you know, a new blacksmith level, and then the instead of it makes more sense to me to give us more levels of equipment instead of continually just dumping more equipment on us. Yeah, I think they learned that lesson, though, that we don't want more and more equipment because then it's just also like overwhelm of choice and too much of a good thing is then a bad thing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just like with super troops, too. You know, like we we're not going to get we're like we're probably not ever going to get a super troop for every for every troop. Um, And the the rate of super troop releases have, has really slowed down. I mean, yeah, maybe in like 50 years. I think that's a lesson they learned from Clash Royale. But just having way too many stupid options and evolutions and whatever else Clash Royale is dealing with now. Mm -hmm. But like it doesn't it, it doesn't enhance the game just to continually add new troops to it like at a super fast pace. Uh, I mean, for me, I'm kind of leveling up all the other troops in the hopes that they do get a super troop at some point so that I can use them for clan games. But um, what actually really bothers me is that not all the super troops are in the clan game challenges. So like, there's no clan game challenge for super hog rider, or super, uh, minor. I didn't know that. What ones are there? I see. 
I haven't seen it in a while, but Super Valk was one. Yeah, yeah. I know they like, used Super Valks five times. And what, what other Super Troops are there? They have all in, the Super Troops except uh, Super Miner and Super Hog Rider. Like, I don't think I've ever seen Inferno Drags in there. No, no, they have Inferno Drags. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, did okay. one recently. I mean, I'll take it. They have all it. of them except, except Miner and Hog Rider, which is really annoying because I've <laughs> trained those specifically hoping that I would get a challenge, but it hasn't <laughs> happened yet. I know. I, I guess I should default to you, the person who does 200 accounts through playing games every month. Uh, it's not actually 200, but I do get the rewards on all of them, thankfully. So. <laughs> Spencer, make a prediction with spell towers. What do you think is going to happen? Spell towers, um, nothing. <laughs> not even a new level. You know, I. New type I feel of like spell? when they brought spell towers to the game, they they didn't really have much planned for after the release and it makes sense because I, I i don't know where you could go with the spell towers you don't want to upgrade those spells because spell towers are already a little op you know and what new spells could you add i feel like we've talked about that there's just nothing interesting you could add i feel like i mean like level four spell tower would be like a freeze so that as soon as it you know within a certain range it just freezes everything delays them so that the defenses can get to them that might be interesting or um, I, I don't know. We talked about it a long time ago, too, when there was because there's been a leak or something in the files that popped up forever ago, like probably two years ago now, with like a skeleton spell level. But it's just really not that functionally different from a skeleton trap. So I don't really see a reason yeah. to 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 just duplicate that in the spell tower. It would have to be like really more much more powerful for it to make that sense. Clash Ninja just said tornado spell. And I think we should probably That's just the gosh. tornado trap. Oh, two torture and NATO <laughs> traps. That'd be something. But, uh, <laughs> do you think the possibility of a third spell tower is is realistic at all? Ooh. Um, I feel like it'd be too soon for that. Maybe in Tunnel 18. But yeah. I I really just think Tunnel 17 is going to focus on more merging um, because they said they want they really want to do that a lot more with the next Town Halls. So I feel like there's that's really going to be the main... Uh, uh, feature. So, what do you think will be merged together? The gold mines, the elixir collectors, or what? <laughs> army camps? I mean, they. Well, no, like, there's no point in merging defenses, the mines yeah. or collectors. It's a, it's all it's merged defenses. So. Oh wait, but when when you say merge, you mean like that the player has to manually merge them together, or that they'll just be um, merged like the uh, about exactly how it already is at Town Hall 16. L- Liam, are you at Town Hall 16? Yes, you yes. Seen it all? I, I, I am a Todd all 16. Never mind. All good. <laughs> oh, gosh. You could do, there's a lot of different ways they could take it too. They could continue on merging, you know, like we could do more merged Archer Towers cannons. We could do, you know, they could do like merging Wizard Towers or Mortars or Air Defenses or, you know, merge different buildings together, like an Air Defense Mortar Tower. Or whatever. I don't know, you know, but th- there's a lot of different ways they could take it. Because the point of merging was to to keep the base footprint smaller, mm-hmm. and you know still give interesting, fun mechanics. It's it it overall it's a move towards simplifying the base layout. But if you're forced to merge to go to the next town hall, then the, yeah, I suppose they're kind of imposing that on everyone. Then like you gotta merge yeah, them. And yeah, then... you and yeah, you you will be forced to merge arch towers and. And cannons to go to Town Hall 17. We've known that for you know the whole year. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that being forced to merge something just to go to the next Town Hall. Nah, I like my freedom. I mean, you're forced to build everything to go to the next Town Hall now. It's just you know you just yeah, also have to same. upgrade, you know, four buildings instead of just purely rushing and upgrading what you have to. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Um. Spencer, do you think we get a new Town Hall weapon, or do you think we're going to have uh, the third iteration of the Giga Inferno? You know, I don't want anything more than the Inferno already. That poison spell really is a, is a headache to deal with, so I, I think we're going to keep exactly what we have. Anything else would just be a nerf. What if it's like the Poison Tower like, and something on top of it? Then it's like a, a buff, right? Like a super eagle or something like that. It, right now, it's an inferno, and inferno is really strong. You know, 
especially against a whole group of root riders. Turning it into a second eagle, I think, could be interesting, or just a second eagle in general. But for it to be activated, you always have to, you know, attack it. So turning it into an eagle while things are already hitting it wouldn't really be cool, but I don't know. Like, I kind of hope we do get something different. It's been Inferno and Poison for three town halls now. It's it's time for a change. Yeah, it's always nice to have new things, so we'll see. But, like, would it be based on one of the current defenses, like, you know, the Tesla and the Inferno Towers, or would it be something completely new and different? I think they kind of want to base it on existing uh, mechanics. Maybe a scatter shot. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. uh, uh, yeah, that'd be nice actually. Anything that does splash. Ooh, how I I have an idea. This would be a great nerf for root riders. Make the whole thing a giant crusher. <laughs> a lift that's like the whole town down. hall just stands up and slams down. That would yeah. be so cool. Oh god, that'd be instantly the become the most hated. Root riders are done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the icon you made. You made a design for that as well. Mm. All right, do you guys think we're going to get the, an expanded map? No. I'm going to say no. Yeah, I also, I also don't think that's the thing. Just just because, you know, just I don't want to repeat what we said about merging stuff, but I, I really don't think it's going to happen. All right, do you think we're going to get any new uh, clan capital or builder base tie-ins? Yes, please. You know, I remember when builder base was released, they said, you know, we could expect like the next builder base update to be soon. Um, so I feel like they originally planned to give us third stage, like the same year, but, um, I guess the reception on Builder Race 2.0 wasn't as, uh, good as they hoped it was, so we never got it's, that. It's been a year, right? That was, was that May yeah, last year when we got the new Builder yeah, Race? Yeah, a whole year ago. I mean, I still don't play Builder Race, but I was still would like to see some updates. We've been told this is, you know, the year of the home village, and we're still... Man, it feels like that was so long ago, too, but it's only May. Um, do you think after Town Hall 17, so th- sometime in 2025, do we get you know, do we get Builder Hall 11 in, and or the third stage? I, I think it depends mostly on if it's going to be Builder Base focus or Clan Capital focus. So if because this year was Home Village and if next year is oh, Builder God, Base, please. then... <laughs> please don't I'd tell me we get... Base. Like, we're going to follow up the year of the Home Village with the year of Builder Base. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's either that or uh, the year of Clan Capital, right? It's got to be one just, or the other. Oh my god, just, just taking that, taking that terrible idea of like rotating updates and just doing it yearly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be crazy. It, but isn't that what they said that they're gonna do? Like, focus on. As far, no, not as far as I know. Like, I, I know they said they basically said like, pro, there's probably not gonna be you know builder base or capital updates this year, and and that's just where that went. No, no, I but I meant next went, year, like. Next year, the full year is going to be Clan Capital or I, just Build. No, no, definitely. No, oh God, I remember no, I asked no Ferry that when we did the interview, and he said at the end of this year, they're going to kind of reassess and then uh, figure out what they're going to do next year. Uh, in 2025, I think we're all expecting Builder Hall 11, right? In third stage? Mm. Builder Hall 11, Capital Hall 11. That could be one really cool, yeah. massive update. And that would probably have to come in the new district. for Like, I'm... Like I'm ready for more capital content, way more than I'm more than I want builder oh, yeah. base content. Capital is just f- pretty fun. I'm just gonna say it. I don't know. Is, I like attacking every weekend. Is um is capital more fun because you get uh, raid medals from it, uh, and so there's less words from builder base? Is that an element to it? Do you think? I, I think that might be w- why everyone yeah. prefers capital over builder base. I, I I think capital is just overall more well done anyway or is it the diversity like different layouts and builder base is the same one they did take it different directions right builder base went smaller and more compact and supposedly easier attacks and capital went you know bigger more collaborative way you know and i think they both failed at what they're trying to do but if i had to choose one or the other capital is way better than builder base Mm. Agreed. Yeah, and and not only because of all the all the side benefits you get from raid medals too, but just just in general. All right. Um, one of the last ones. Uh, yes or no? Are we gonna get air sweeper level eight with town hall seventeen? Oh God, no! Please, no. You know, I, I've I've given up on the air sweeper. It's kind of <laughs> like that friend you have to leave behind because you've <laughs> outgrown him. You know. 
Like, uh, cause you get, when do you max air sweeper? Is it town hall 11 or 12? Let me check that. I mean, my, 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 my 12 has level sevens. I would say 12 if I had to guess, but I'm not sure. Oh, I cannot find my sweeper in this land. Town hall 11. Just looked it up. Yeah. 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 My town hall 11 has max air sweepers. So it's time. I think it's time. Give us more powerful air troops and then up the sweeper to balance it. I remember we talked about it. I don't remember, but um, instead of um, extending the range, you could, like an upgrade could change the shape of the uh, pushing of the air, you know? It, it pushes a moving tornado trap. Um, no, definitely not. <laughs> they need to get rid of the tornado trap. But uh, Spencer, don't you use uh, Ajax and are you not more enraged by the uh, air sweeper? I haven't thing? used Ajax in years, Liam. What? I thought you were a classic Ajax player. But... No, ever since Root Riders came out, I've just been spamming those. Someone in my clan was like, I will never use Root Riders, they're too easy. And I responded, I said, you know, I spent the whole year, Town Hall 15, only getting two stars for a whole year. So I deserve these Root Riders. I deserve these three stars. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. All right. So this one uh, is going to be, it was supposed to be for Sam and Liam, but, uh, but he might be too. joining soon, actually. Yeah, man, maybe we'll see. Uh, Liam, make a prediction of the color of it. Oh, um. I'm going to say it we don't I mean is is tunnel 15 purple already? Is that yes. You can't ask me that I'm colorblind. Very okay. clearly nice. purple. <laughs> what about tunnel um, I'm not really sure what colors are left. Uh I think I'm going to be really radical and this probably won't happen but it'd be pretty cool if it did. Um I think pink would be an awesome color. They would <laughs> basically have a whole pink town hall and make it all um, YB themed or something. That'd be that'd be really fun, but it probably won't happen. Interesting. If they stick with what Spencer and I saw in Finland, I think gonna be. Uh, I think everyone's gonna be happy. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. And we don't we don't get to know what that is, no. obviously, right? So we'll just yeah. No, I mean it, it also could change too. So you know, you never know. Just concepts, really. I think yeah, mostly for they'll go with the future of merging, basically where they'll have um, you'll be able to merge more defenses together, and um, I suppose I mean yeah, because the cannon and the, oh the what is it the multi -ca multi cannon multi ultra tower, the ricochet red cannon. at the moment or yeah sorry ricochet cannon, um, so then if you go to seventeen, would they have to then change the colors of those as well or add new levels, um, I yeah. I'm not sure, but we'll have to see. All right, so heroes. I said we circle back to heroes. Yeah, how likely is it that you guys think we're going to get not just one new hero, but multiple new heroes in the future? Well, I feel like ideally the best way, just like from marketing and standpoint and a business standpoint, it would be best to release heroes separately, not all at a time. Yeah, I know, I know, man. Like, like you sat there at the table with me too when Vesta was like, "Check out this game; it has 80 heroes on it." And it's just like it's been stuck in my mind ever since. He kept saying, "Like, it'd be so cool to have this in Clash of Clans and this in Clash of Clans." You know, like he wasn't an actual developer on the game; he was like one of us, just making concepts in his head. I yeah, yeah, no, it was fun. a great conversation. He, he, you know, he's a cool guy. I'm just saying, like, like that idea, like stuck with me and is kind of like you know like uh i just dread thinking about it as a possibility i i don't think we'll ever get to a point where we have like 50 different heroes i think once uh, maybe we'll reach like 10 and then that'll be it Hi. but more more than that is sounds just insane to me if we end up at a point where we get 10 heroes oof, i don't know where else we're gonna be but like it, it'll be okay if like you can switch them out, right? Like that. The main issue is not having more like ten at a time on the same. Uh, but I attack, feel right? like hero abilities are meant to be the substitution for switching heroes out. Is that you now switch abilities out? So apart, if if you didn't have hero switching, you'll have hero switching, pet switching, and equipment switching. I mean, that just feels like a lot. You're right. 
one of the bigger concepts I wanted to talk about with, with with this hero conversation too is like you know we've been told a bunch of times too like if more heroes get added, it's very likely we'd still only be allowed to use four per attack, and you would have to choose. You would also then that's a good point. Uh, uh, Tigres in in chat just said you know like how would that work on defense too? You probably still have to choose the active ones in your layout, but we'd have some kind of like hero house essentially where you can, you know, upgrade one and then still use the other four. Uh, and you choose which four to bring into battle at, at, at any time, which also de that definitely opens up the possibility of having like a ton more heroes added later in the game too. Like, and I think the same as Supercell did with events, you know, they'll figure out, Hey, people like this. So let's give it to them repeatedly over and over and over and over and over again until, until, they're until they stop complaining. Yeah. Yeah. So if the future clash is having you know, more than five heroes too, like how is that going to work? Are we going to have, you know, level 115 king and then a level 20 uh, new hero that are going to be somewhat equivalent? I mean, this just goes back to the max, conversation or... of how difficult it is for new players to even get to any, yeah, you know, get even get close to being maxed or get close to unlocking half this stuff. There's so much stuff that's just out of whack too, compared to historically in Clash, like. At Town, Town Hall 9, you get 30 levels of queen, right? When I first started playing, getting your queen to 30 took probably six months because upgrades upgrades got to seven days starting at level 15. Mm. So you had 15, 15 levels of a week each. You know, that's almost four months of queen upgrades plus all the upgrades to get her to 15 in the first place. You know, like, we're in a lot better place now where each hero gets five levels per Town Hall about now, but you still have to get through all the early easy ones. So I wanted to ask, like, what would you guys think if they did a hero level squish where they say, cool, like the new, like new max King is now 50, all heroes go to 50 and they rebalance all those different levels, you know, to still kind of keep it fair lower. And then each new additional hero, it gets added to the, you know, the, whatever the current hero max is. Do you think something like that could work? It's like, it's, so say the max is 50 now for all heroes. The next hero begins at what level exactly? If a new one was to be zero, I, I guess I don't know. Oh, zero, right? Uh, I mean, to be, it is already weird that we have like different heroes on arbitrarily ran that get arbitrary random amount of levels, right? So I guess uh, some way to standardize that probably wouldn't be a bad thing because then you could actually relatively compare them. Because at the moment, I mean, it's difficult to tell how on par I don't know, say a level seventy king is to a level. 14 royal champion you know so i guess um it would at least go as far to say right if you got a level 40 king and level 40 royal champion they're about the same kind of quality so then would they would they max out like the king and the queen at 100 and then just let the warden and the royal champion catch up to 100 that might be because I, 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 I don't see them like squishing the hero levels together just because i mean it uh, might be an easy fix, but at the moment you have like challenges like, oh, you know, 100, uh, destroy 100 hero levels, and then p uh, players spend a lot of time upgrading all the heroes every level, and so they'd probably be well, yeah, very it mad. Would, it would require a lot of changes throughout the whole rest of the game, yeah. you know? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a realistic, you know, I, I'm not trying to pose this as like, hey, this is what I think is going to happen, or I think is in the realm of reality at all. I'm just, you know, but just for the sake of conversation too, like the other games have done similar things successfully well i know like world of warcraft is where i think the term level squish originated um correct me if i'm wrong somebody but there was they had like you know it's the xp level got up to like 120 and then it said all right this is way too much for new players and, and new content too where they they want to continually sell you new you know new expansion packs so they said all right like every, everyone's got everyone got their level squished back down like 50 is the new max 50 or 60 is the new max and then you know new content is going to release for that level it's just a way to help newer players catch up faster and then be able to get to enjoy the new content but again wow like wow operates on selling you new content whereas clash operates on like speeding you up through a constant never-ending chain of progression so it's not you know apples to apples but you know there is precedent in games at least to do something similar has uh, Supercell ever actually gone, like, reduced levels or gone back on something and backtracked that way? Or have, the, I don't, only, uh... the only similar thing I can think of is with the Builder Base revamp when they um, redid the level system too. Like, so instead of having 20 levels of hog gliders to upgrade, we ended up with only four levels. And they just you unlock hog gliders at, like, level 16 or whatever it is. 
but that was upgrading it, like making more easy. So yeah, so it's not the same. But yeah, like it, it eliminated a ton, a, a ton of the individual research levels. But you know, you still ended up in the same place with a similar number. Yeah, it makes sense. Like I think it's time for a fifth hero, probably. I really don't want more than that. And it just feels uh, also if they do add a fifth hero. They need to balance heroes because I know everyone's focused on root riders at the moment being completely broken, but it's kind of swept under the rug that heroes are still insanely powerful, especially with some of this new equipment. And I think if they add a fifth, it's it's just going to be silly, isn't it? So they they need to actually have a hard look at how powerful heroes are. Um, won't say nerf, or I hope they nerf root riders. I mean, I, I think it's inevitable now that, that will be coming, but after that, it needs to be a focus on heroes. They've straight up told us like hero books are you know one of their big sources of revenue too. So in a way, I get that like hey, as as the main product that they are selling us, the heroes should be strong and powerful. Right. Yeah, and of course they're heroes. I mean, they're meant mm. to be powerful, but they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be dominating. But how can you have it powerful and not dominating then? Well, it's. I mean. If they can just take out so much of the base already, I mean, if you think back to Town 15, Town 14, you know, before Root Riders, I mean, heroes were being used to Sui and Queen Charge huge amounts of the base. Yeah, people are clearing attacks with heroes only. Yeah, I mean, that is where part of the problem lies, I think. But if you don't add the, like, if you don't give them that ability to take out the whole base, then what's the incentive to upgrade them all the way to max? Because they're, they're, like... they're still strong and they still. Heroes, they all have a function which can't be really carried out by another troop, right? Like, you know, not, not, there's no troop which is particularly similar to any of the heroes, apart from the Apprentice Warden, I'll give you that, but that is a slightly different case. So yeah, there's a way There's a way to make heroes useful and powerful without having heroes completely white bases. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know, I like that they're really powerful at the moment. I don't mind it. I know there's a few more things on the agenda. Um, you guys want to just skip those and uh, go straight to the straight to questions. Well, who's got some good questions then? So how this is going to work, um, you guys in Ooh. the chat, if you have questions you want us to answer or um, have a short chat about, uh, please drop those in the chat. Uh, in the meantime, uh, while you guys do that, I, uh, on the last episode, asked people to send us voicemail messages, and we do have a, a couple of those. Um, so I'll play that. Ooh. And then we'll talk about those, and then you guys go ahead and ask questions in the chat, and we'll circle back to those too. So here's the first one. Yes, this question is coming from Big B. This is for Rick, Sam, Spencer, and Pure Sweet Innocent Liam. Um, with the Holland Challenge going on, if you guys were to petition Supercell to create an event uh, for you. Who would be a celebrity that you would like to see in the game? And then also, let's say that they decided to do, uh, you know, some skins based off the Reddit Talks Clash uh, hosts. Um, which hero would each one get? You know, uh, who would get the Barbarian skin? Who would get the RC skin? Uh, which one of you would be on which? And would you guys need any, uh, you know, special characters in the game? Any any part-time uh, features or anything like that? Just let me know. And uh, uh, Liam definitely doesn't have an accent. It's just, you know, some speech issues. We'll fix that with some therapy, but don't worry about it. Hang in there. Love you guys. Good luck. Uh, Reddit Talks Class. No, wait, not Class. <laughs> not you guys. Reddit Talks Clash. Clash on! Alright, yeah, if you guys want to see another celebrity collab, who would it be? So for me, I would go with Liam Neeson, uh, mostly because he was already in one of the, the big Super Bowl ads. Um, oh yeah, that's right. And I just absolutely love Liam Neeson. Not not because we have the same first name, but also because uh, he's just an amazing Irish person, and I love every movie that he's in. Wait, so I thought your name was Vanessa. Well, and now that's my Reddit name. That's yeah. That's... Wait, are you <laughs> pretending to be a girl online? <laughs> this is catfish name. Um, but yeah, no, Liam Neeson would be my celebrity uh, topic. Uh, what about you, Spencer? Um, pass. I I. I don't really know celebrities. I'm not into the whole celebrity thing. You must know people. Yeah, like any, any big collab too, you know, like uh, even fake people, like TV show, like Rick from The Walking Dead, you know, you could say. I mean, oh yeah, if we had like like Star Wars or Marvel or Walking Dead, that'd be pretty cool. 
Yeah, I'd back, I'd back Star Wars. My personal choice, I think, uh, which I think Rick will really enjoy, would be uh, Count Binface as the Warden. Um, oh, for those yeah, who don't Count know, Binface. He is Rick's new favourite politician um, from the UK, who is a Bin. I'll, I can even put a photo of him in chat so you can all... Uh, you can all enjoy him, and I think he would actually work really well as the Grand Warden. Do you have a look? Is, is he famous for anything, or other? Uh, like... He's famous for running in lots of elections. Uh, he ran to be Mayor of London this uh, year. He also he also ran against Boris Johnson um, in the last general election, uh, which you can see here. So he's quite an influential figure, and I think he would. I think he would suit the Clash universe really well. Yeah, dude, I would, dude, I, I haven't bought a scan in a while, but I would buy a Count Binface. I would buy Count Binface. Scan, I would heartbeat. absolutely buy Count Binface. Like, Grand Warden, come on. You see it, right? Yeah, with the cape. Works out I mean, well. Yeah, exactly. He is the Grand Warden. You just don't realize it yet. <laughs> All right, I would... <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, like, like, the point of these collaborations is to, like, bring in new, like, new players and new audiences, and then, man, like, people flipped out over Howland. Did they? Like, did people really get angry over Harland? Yeah, a lot of people did. Oh, yeah. The troll in me wants to see something that would, like, enrage Reddit even more. <laughs> I'm going to say I would, I would want to see, like, some kind of K-pop collaboration. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Just because I think, like, it would, <laughs> like, everyone on Discord would love it, obviously, for funny reasons. And then most, I think most people on Reddit would hate it. And just watching that fight would be like Christmas for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, um the 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 other part of Big B's question was uh if they did if they did skins based on us, who would be what hero? Spencer would be the barbarian king for sure. Yeah, this, yeah, like probably cuz that's his that's been his logo, his his profile picture oh, yeah. for forever. I see myself more as <laughs> I was going to say royal <laughs> champion, but um... Liam, you're definitely the archer queen. You have yeah, the exact same feet as her, bro. Absolutely the archer queen. <laughs> yeah, like in and, and I just like so Vanessa Baxton obviously is is the queen, right? <laughs> yeah. But oh. and then also Liam told me the other day he has another female username that he that he uses. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> It's a What's it's this? a childhood long story. Let, let's start talking about it. <laughs> so... Oh, we've got time. I've got time. No, uh, all right. Thanks for joining everyone. This was fun. <laughs> all right, Rick, do tell. I can, I can, I even had the power to serve and mute Liam. So if you start, no, it's just in, it, no. It was because one one of his two hundred accounts is like like I I don't. It, it looks like gibberish. So I I finally asked him like what what was that and he says oh it's it's like abbreviations for like some French girl's name was basically what it is. Yeah, it's What's the uh, random French girl. Some girl he stalked. No, it was a childhood <laughs> crush. There's no need to go into it. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> let's get let's get her on the call right now. <laughs> so I but I, I think that leaves Sam as the RC. You know um, and you as the warden then? Yeah, like oh, I, I just assumed you guys are gonna make an old joke about me and the warden, so I was I just gonna lead into it. Uh, well, uh, well, are, are any of us partic- are any of us particularly wise? I mean, I am, but like, I mean, I'm pretty wise. I'm a math teacher. <laughs> well, I'm the only one who's starting to get gray, so. Yeah. And you have a beard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Th- uh, also that. Oh well, there you go. Th- th- fine, that's where the gray is annoying. Like, like, like my head, like my head is like all my hair is fine on my head. It's not falling out. It's not turning gray. It's nothing. But like, there's spots in my beard that are starting to go gray, oddly. And other spots that are going red. I don't get it, dude. Red. Your hair's getting yeah. red. No, no, it's like it's, it's, it's like a patch. Like next to the gray is like a patch of red. I I don't know why. Weird. It is. All right. Next question. Uh, here it goes. I'll play it. Hello, hello. So my question is: What past feature, whether it's gameplay or visual, would you like to be brought back into Clash? Hmm. I really. I mean, this might be a bit controversial, but. I I would like it that you can zap storages again and get like oh with earthquakes uh, uh, resources from them, just for you know. For... Right, alive. I, s- <laughs> I don't know. I, I miss that feature. So that'd be the feature I'd bring back. I liked the original Town Hall Ten blue zap walls. I was just gonna say that. Mm. If there was ever a Town Hall theme that I could work into, I think that would be cool to bring those back. Those are the Town Hall Twelve walls now, right? Or more or less? No. 
No, no, they were like a, like blue electric Tron looking walls. I would want to bring back the arcade and the mini games. Oh yeah, those are cool. It's kind of weird that they spent money developing those just to have them never be played again. Yeah, and they yeah. took down the website too where you could play them on. Yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, the, the most memorable bit of that whole, you know, anniversary and with those games was that guy who on Reddit said that his mum had told him <laughs> that there were arcade games coming to Clash and everyone, everyone laughed their head off at him and then a few months later, look where we were. I'll, I don't think I'll ever forget that. We need to interview that guy. Well, I, I think we shouldn't. I don't want to go... Actually, yeah. His mom uh, probably I, got fired. Yeah, his, his mum is going to get... <laughs> not not a good uh, reception next time she comes into the Super Cell HQ, I'd imagine. Yeah, like you can't even watch that video anymore. Did they? They took down the documentary. Why? Why did they... that? Must have cost a lot of money to produce. I mean, why would you even get rid of it? I don't know why they took down the documentary, but um, I reached out to one of the developers and asked why they got rid of those really old Builder Base trailers for when Builder Base was coming out. Uh, was it the, the daily? things and they said that uh, the voice actors license licensing agreement uh, was expired really? oh. so i would assume the same thing happened for uh, the documentary but they took that video down like within a year though it wasn't up very long at all yeah it was a cool video all right um the only question i saw in the chat right now uh i think it was God- godly was asking that we talk about one of her posts and we might do that next episode there's a lot to go through with her defense variants uh, post. It's actually really cool. I think it's the top post of the sub right now. Any you guys hanging out listening, uh, go, ch- go check it out because it's really good. She put a lot of work into it. And other than that, I think it's time we do shout outs and say goodbye. Does anyone have any shout outs? Shout out to the new Clash community manager. Oh, uh, yeah. True frame. Gotta have, we've got to have, have him on soon. He can't, he can't escape the Reddit Talks Clash uh, hour of fun. We would have him. We would have had him on this week, but I feel like there's not much that we can ask that we don't already know the answer to because no. we just did the fairy interview, you know. So maybe after the next update. I mean, you know, if if there's an update coming at any point in the next few months, which I'm sure there will be, and you know, if a uh, bit of time free to go over it for an hour on here, I'm just saying the invite is open. I mean, yeah, looking at past up the past years, we would get in. Uh, a summer update in early yeah. June, which is literally like two to three weeks away. So we're away from the quarterly update schedule down though. I think, you know, we've had really? a February and an April. Well, they can't do a July update cause that's their like summer break. You know, they mm-hmm. all leave the office and August is class anniversary. So I'm still mentally in the whole quarterly update cycle. So I have a feeling they'll go for June or July. Yeah. All right. I want to say, Shout out to uh to Knob for holding down that iPhone eight. Uh, uh you you're the last what? one. Uh, yeah, dude, I finally I finally upgraded my phone. I, I knew one other oh, guy. Oh, you upgraded but, your who, phone. I did. I knew I knew one other guy still hanging on to an iPhone eight. And now he's now he's flying solo in the iPhone eight club. Wow. iPhone eight, that's actually great. I have an iPhone six, is that wait, Liam, you have an iPhone six? Yeah. How does it work? I take care of my stuff, I guess. iPhone but... 6 was my first phone. Not my second phone. Second I've actually never, iPhone. I've never owned an iPhone. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So, sorry, Vic. Don't mean to <laughs> interrupt your shout out. No, Go no, on. I was good. Um, and I was going to say, uh, Wife of Web, who's always helpful uh, when we have like recruiting issues or problem problem users between the two subs. Uh, Wife of Web. Runs a tight ship over in the recruit sub, so if you need a if you need a clan, go check it out. Yeah. Anyone else? All the live audience here, thank you so much for joining. We appreciate you. Yeah. I don't think of anything else more to add. Yeah, nothing else. <laughs> All right. All right. Take it easy, everyone. We will see you in two weeks. See you in see two ya. weeks.
I did have one other small question. This is Big B again. Now, not to not to, you know steal all the limelight of the voice recorded messages. Not that I'm, you know, not that I miss hearing my own voice on podcasts or anything like that. Certainly not that. Um, your question. Hey, I really enjoyed the AI generated uh, song at the end of the last podcast generated by Spencer. I'm just wondering if maybe potentially, Rick, if there's any other, I don't know, Clash related, AI generated Clash of Clans themed songs out there that exist. Maybe that, I don't know, someone else might have created and sent to you uh, via DM maybe a couple of months ago. Um, I don't know. Maybe hypothetically that exists out there. Maybe it involves Root Riders. I'm not sure. Uh, but Rick, I would just like to know where's where's that going? When when was my song? When was my song getting on the podcast? Where's why has that happened yet? Thanks, guys. Red Talks Clash. Yeah. Oh yeah. To be honest, I totally forgot about this, but since you asked nicely, here you go. Dropped it here just to confuse all our Gen Z listeners who absolutely won't understand why a song might end up at the end of something like this, uh, following five minutes of dead air. Anyway, here we go with Root Root. Enjoying your bud ice. Dooby dooby doo.